It annoys me that people keep getting this wrong. They're wrong, okay? They're wrong. When I put styrofoam into a solvent like this acetone, it defoams. Styrofoam is made of millions of strands of polystyrene that are all tangled together and they have like air trapped inside the tangles. So when I put it in the acetone, what happens is the acetone kind of like detangles the strands a little bit. It lets them slip past each other and all of that. And that lets the air that's trapped inside escape. And there's a lot of air trapped inside. Now people tell you this is because acetone is a non-polar solvent and those people are wrong. They're wrong, okay? They're wrong. Acetone is a very polar liquid. It has a higher dipole moment than water and it also mixes with water, which non-polar liquids don't do. Look at all that perfect mixing. Unlike something say like oil, which is famously non-polar and famously does not mix with water. While I can't tell you for sure why acetone does this, I have a theory that it has to do with the carbonyl and acetone, what's often called a pi system in chemistry for reasons I'm not gonna get into here. But the thing is, is that these pi systems can interact with each other in what are called pi-pi interactions. And here's one example here, it's called pi stacking, where these rings will kind of, these pi systems, these double bond systems will kind of arrange each other and kind of interact with each other, right? So styrene and polystyrene has a bunch of these pi systems. So you can imagine it's gonna do a similar sort of thing and that's what traps the air. But acetone, being that it does have this pi system in it, can probably slide in between these rings. And once it does that, they can't do it with each other anymore. And that kind of creates the gap that the air slides through as the strands detangle and slide past each other in the acetone. That's my theory, at least. It's less wrong than saying acetone is nonpolar. And for the record, this has nothing to do with how we recycle this industrially. But it is a fun way to make fridge magnets at home. Oh, look at that. Look at it. But above all, just remember that acetone is very much a polar solvent. Anybody who says otherwise is wrong. And you can leave angry comments on my behalf on videos that tell you that acetone is a nonpolar solvent.